If it's one part headlines and one part creative writing, it must be six degrees of news. Stocks tumbled on Wall Street this morning with the Dow Industrial Index down 245 points in the first hour of trading and closed at their lowest levels in more than a month. But it was a good day for shares of Yahoo. Their third quarter earnings were better than expected with revenue topping a billion dollars. It's their first earnings report since Marissa Meyer took over the company three months ago. And Yahoo isn't the only one doing good business these days. The World Bank named the most business-friendly countries today and picked the former Soviet state of Georgia as one of the most improved places to do business. The U.S. remained in fourth place. Italy fell three spots to 73rd in the rankings, but the country is in the headlines today for a different reason after an Italian court convicted seven scientific experts of manslaughter and sentenced them to prison for what? For giving inadequate warnings of a 2009 earthquake that killed more than 300 people. In courtroom news back home, the child endangerment case against the late Senator Robert F. Kennedy's son, Douglas Kennedy, is underway. The trial began Monday with nurses testifying that Kennedy became violent when they tried to stop him from taking his newborn baby outside the hospital back in January. And finally, from the Kennedy family to the Kennedy Center, where the funniest of the funny came together last night to honor talk show host Ellen DeGeneres with the nation's top humor award, the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. The show will air next week.